Bank of England, Mervyn King, who saved this country from economic Armageddon during the credit crunch, has said an obsession with net zero has fueled inflation. He said that Britain's influence on achieving global net zero emissions is negligible and the government places too much emphasis on arbitrary dates, banning petrol and diesel cars as well as gas boilers. Whilst raising serious concerns about climate change, concerns that I share as well, he has said that this blind push for net zero with no debates and no cost benefit analysis has become a quasi religious cult. How right he is, they are a bunch of cults. Meanwhile, amid a backdrop of uncertainty around green energy, this increasingly illiberal authoritarian conservative government have signed net zero into law, threatening Brits with jail if their home is not eco compliant and allowing the authorities to enter your home with force to install a smart meter. Debatable science, smashing the economy, telling people how to live, the media on board with one narrow message, industry having the answer. All of this has worrying echoes of the pandemic in which, in my view, a failed attempt to stop a seasonal respiratory virus has left us with a diminished, poorer, sicker country and a generation of damaged kids. I fear that we're going to make the same mistakes all over again with net zero. On wind power, how about this damning verdict from science writer Matt Ridley in today's Telegraph? He said the cost of subsidising wind is vast. The mining of minerals and pouring concrete that is required for a wind farm to have a huge pollution impact and a massive carbon footprint is outrageous. Voters know wind farms are a futile gesture and they will now punish the Tories accordingly. The refusal of private enterprise to invest in wind power in this country, even with the help of huge state subsidies, tells you everything you need to know about the viability of this unsightly, noisy, bird shredding technology. Wind power has lost its puff and the race to net zero is running out of steam.